Hello, my name is Sandy Steingard. I will be giving one of the lectures for the Madden America Continuing Education course on psychiatric drug withdrawal. I want to explain a little bit about what I will be talking about and also why I think this is an important topic. I'm a psychiatrist who has worked in community mental health for many years. Many of the people that I work with have experienced what psychiatrists call psychotic symptoms. When I began in psychiatry, the leading academic psychiatrists in the field were advocating for using these drugs, the antipsychotic drugs, in the lowest dose possible. That had a big influence on me and, and structured the way that I've thought about the field for many years. When I left an academic setting to work in community mental health, this, was, this coincided with the time when the newer drugs were being brought to the market. And over the next decade, I noticed that this early caution that was prominent in the academic field seemed to get lost. The newer drugs were heavily promoted, and along with that promotion was the notion that they were far safer, and therefore, doctors didn't need to be as cautious about their use. In 2011, I read Anatomy of an Epidemic, and this, for me, raised even more concerns. Because in addition to the side effects that we were already aware of, problems like tardive dyskinesia, movement disorder, and with the newer drugs, concerns about weight gain and the risk for diabetes and other medical conditions. This book also raised the possibility that giving these drugs long-term might hamper people's chances for recovery. I thought the book was important enough and raised important enough concerns that it led me to do my own research and make, my, make up my own mind about the extent to which these uh, cautions needed to be uh, addressed and brought into the clinical practice. I decided that there was enough evidence there that I had to do what I think a doctor is supposed to do, which is to talk to patients about these risks and benefits and to invite people to make a choice that was best for them about how they wanted to use these drugs. Now, the problem is that there's a lot of information about how to start the drugs, but very little information on how to stop them. So for the past five years, I've tracked people in my practice who've elected to try to reduce the dose to see what I could learn about their experiences. So in this talk, I'm going to review some of the data that's led me to be uh, concerned about how we're using these drugs and reinforce my notion that we need to be careful about dosing. And I will also share with you my experiences in tapering the drugs with people to, uh, with whom I work. Thank you very much. I look forward to sharing more information with you.